Welcome back to MK Sports Cars. Would you Adam and seat it? The Honda S2000 is killing it with its new padded seats. On this week's segment of Keeping Up with the Car Hackians, Suns Out, Guns Out, it's Mr. Muscle. Another car for sale? The Greek god of speed, the Arian, has officially landed. Don't go anywhere, guys. You don't want to miss it. Welcome back to MK Sports Cars, guys. Well, before we head in the workshop today, we're over at the showroom section, and this has arrived on our doorstep. Now, last week, we showed you the Shaman. Well, this is the sister car to it. This is the AB Performance Arian. So the Arian was the first incarnation. The, the, uh, the Shaman was the second version, which is the seven style bodywork. So we've got the Arian here. Good thing about this one, guys, it is actually brand new. It's built by West Suffolk College. Um, it's done about a mile and, and it's going to be for sale. They've finished the project, they're going to be moving on to something new. They've asked us if we can uh, take care of it for them, try and uh, get it sold, etc. So, if you want to know for more information about the car, etc., then hook us up the phone call, email as per down there, as always. But I'm going to talk through it a little bit now. So, let's start in the middle. In the middle here, what we got, we've got a stick shift, we've got a DD2 Digi Dash in here, Momo steering wheel, life lane quick release boss. Actually, these are our GRP seats that we used to supply into Andy. All aluminium too, it's very bare minimus. This was built really as a race track day car. It's performed, it's run in uh, oh, many, many championships anyway. It's Aaron Scandinavia still run it as a performance car that they have a class of their own for out in Scandinavia. So it's got that in the middle here, all nice. It's got the Wilwood pedal box in there as well. Um, so. These a little bit of finishing in here, um, but then you can put your own twist on this. Um, let's put it that way, you can tidy it up, do a bit of carbon maybe, change some bits, do some wraps, do some paint, etc. It comes with TRS harnesses, they're not fitted at the moment, but it's got TRS four point harnesses, quick release buckles as well. Right, on to the rear of the car guys. Um, it's got a race fuel tank in here with a uh, screw cap. Um, it's got the filler neck and the overflow pipe in there. It's got a Quaif ATB in there as well, all brand new. Um, it's got upgraded drive shafts, rear anti-roll bars, well front anti-roll bars on this as well. It does have a light pack, they're not fitted, down to you if you want to fit them as well. Um, the rear corners, it's got Pro Race 1.2 wheels and um, we've got sticky tyres as we always do with these cars, AO48, they're really the race regulation tyre that is used in the Sports 1000 series anyway and that these days. Uh, it's all fully rose jointed CDS wishbones, etc. And it's a, well, it's a square tube chassis right the way through. Roll cage and roll bar is all integrated in the chassis, fully welded in as well. And then you can't quite see under here, but it's got the <clears throat> billet swell pop in the bottom of the fuel tank there, which runs the standard uh, CBR 1000 RR fuel pump. Right, just onto the front end of the vehicle, it does have a light pack. Again, it needs to be fitted, but that can be done by you, or if you're a tractor enthusiast, doesn't need it. We do have the light shells that go on as well. They just need to be bonded or screwed into place. The bonnet is a one-piece bonnet, and it's basically a four-piece body kit that bolts off and bolts on if necessary. And then what we do is we check out under the hood now. Right, under the, under the bonnet here, we've removed that for you so you can see well, pretty much everything that goes on under here. So we've got a CBR 1000 RR engine power plant. Um, normally it's uh, supplied with these, which was, I believe it's a low mileage engine. I've got no documentation to back that up at the moment, but we're looking into that as well, what the year of it was, but it's it's, it's pretty clean, tidy looking engine. Uh, it's got the AB Performance airbox with the secondary injectors in. We've got the front anti roll bars, got the aluminium radiator, 25 row cool, all cooler in there. Heavy duty quick rack in it, billet front uprights, uh, the AB performance rockers, etc. In, in there as well. All wheelwood brakes and wheelwood brakes all round on this particular vehicle. Got the wheelwood top mounted pedal box as well. Um, 
the, I know the ECU has been flashed with their performance map as well, and that's all been done. It's got a Bailey Morris prop shaft, two piece, right the way through. And we've got the uh, electric water pump down here. It's probably a EWP 80, um, which runs. And then we've got uh, their works exhaust system on there as well. Right, just uh, looking from the front end here, you can see it's got the, this is wood, uh, the front splitter. That rolls into a flat floor pan, it's aluminium floor, goes right away through. Uh, but just down there, tucked underneath, you can see the uh, billet sump on there as well, which is a well-proven solution for oil starvation. So if you, again, if you're looking for even going to full slicks on this, you will not have a problem with oil surge. That sump will do the job for you. Protect shocks, double adjustables all round, front and rear on this car as well. So it's got the works really, even the collapsible steering link bar and column. So unfortunately, if you did have an incident, there's a bit of safety involved as well. So yeah. Um, so it's a nice little setup, billet, cool, or billet takeoffs for the oil cooler, really nice clean little setup, pretty easy to maintain, um, engines generally very reliable to CBRs and we know they kick out with at least 190 plus horsepower, scream extremely well, go extremely well, this has got a bit more aero so you'd expect it to be a uh, well, perfect track weapon really, so if you want to know more about this particular car you know where we are as I said in the beginning, give us up in a phone call email, if you want to come and view it come down to the showroom and have a look around the car, we'll be happy to help you. This week on Keeping Up with the Car Hackians, we're polishing our pipes with Mr. Muscle Oven Cleaner. I've just learned so much and I realize how crazy messed up the system is. Absolutely no instructions with this, so I'm gonna make it up as I go along. When using Mr. Muscle, I would recommend doing this in a well-ventilated area because it gets right in your throat. But all I'm literally gonna do is I'm gonna spray it on, I'm gonna use the agitating pad to agitate a little bit of it, hopefully. Uh, there are no instructions on here, but it does say, uh, for your oven, so if you want to clean your oven, I know it's not an oven, but if you want to clean your oven, leave it on for no more than 30 minutes. So I think while we're leaving that on, we're going to make a cup of tea. Uh, I've sprayed this on, I've left it for about 15 minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the agitating brush and I'm going to just give it a quick once over on this section. I'm only going to work with this little bit. I'm going to leave that bit to, uh, to see whether it can do it naturally. I am hoping for shiny, shiny pipes. I've literally spent two minutes polishing this little section. It's about three or four inches. And I don't know whether it's my imagination, but that seems to be coming up. Sure you take precautions when you're rinsing off your pipes with uh, Mr. Muscle because you need to make sure you do this outside. <laughs> that was pathetic. <laughs> A quick summary of Mr. Muscle. Um, Got to be honest, this is where I've used the, the agitating pad. Again, I think this is where. I think this is where I'm actually using the pad rather than actually the, the, the product doing the work. But as you can see, uh, Mr. Muscle has not touched this at all. Therefore, Mr. Muscle does not even get a one star rating. Over the last five or six weeks, boom, you've seen us check these out. These are our products that we've been using to polish our pipes up. And just a quick summary for you, really. After our extensive testing, we found that in fifth place is the Dr. Downpipes. In fourth place, we have the ketchup and foil. I don't have any ketchup with me at the moment because we've eaten it all on our sandwiches. In third place, we rank Mr. Muscle. And in second place, it's Harpic Power Plus Original, 10 times better than Bleach. So that means the number one spot for polishing up your pipes goes to the pink stuff.
Hi guys, welcome back to the workshop. Let's start off here, K20. You know you've been seeing it for the last several weeks as we've been uh, going through the process of the build, the IVA, just waiting for the registration stuff now. But as you can see this week, we'd have been on with a few other little jobs that we're doing, buttoning up now, which is windscreen's gone on, wipers, staunchions, doors, new MK gear knob as well, billet gear knob gone on there as well. And there's a few little other bits to do. And then guess what? Stay tuned for the test drive. Well, back on the S2000 build. Um, what we've been on with? Well, a few little bits and bobs we're doing doing now, as you know. Bonding on the wings. Wheels and tyres have gone on, although they will be changed to a different style. Uh, the customer's looking at. It's going for 15s as well, but it's a mock-up wheel in there for it. They'll fall off. Um, we've been on with some of the other bits of wiring, buttoning up to get all the controls um, finished up, which is all in there. Fine, all buttoned up, dashboard all in. But the biggest change is seats. We promised them orange stitch seats and orange stitch seats we have. Diamond stitch, very smart, very comfortable and these are heated as well. They've got little buttons in here. You have a nice heated carbon inlay heated pad on both of these. So when it does get a little bit chilly, that's going to be a nice little option. They've both been fitted with runners. We've got a little seat runner on these on a slider. So nice and easy to adjust with a central bar. And then we're on with uh, fitting in the harnesses that we slide through be the next job, push them through and uh, onto the harness hole. It's got a boot box as well. This is going to be having a boot box going here and then the last job will be finishing this bit off will be, oh there, centre tunnel's gone in. Look, centre tunnel's gone in, matching handbrake gaiters and gear knob gaiters with a orange stitching on there, carbon tunnel top and then it'll be the roll cage. The bright orange roll cage that will go on that will transform the look of this car. Um, so yeah, should be dropping it down on the ground anytime soon. It'll start being geo putting the nose cone on, final bits and bobs to get ready to start an IVA and things like that. So, yeah, got to say though, they do look good, don't they? All right, Mazda RX-5 time. Adrian Sunni's sterling job as always, continuing on the progress on this, getting backwards and forwards, but yeah, it's getting there now. Things like all the bulkheads has gone back in now. Uh, new battery lid, new battery's gone on. Head of tank, we changed it out from the standard plastic one to uh, the aluminium one, much nicer, because this will be going turbo at some point. If you're going turbo, it's better to put the 20 PSI uh, cap on there as well, rather than the plastic one. They have a tendency maybe to build a bit more pressure, so that's gone on. Everything else is starting to get buttoned up in here now, and it all runs, all works, etc. And you go into the inside, that's pretty much getting tidied up. All the wiring's done, ready to put the new dash in for the standard instrument cluster that'll be going in. Um, Adrian's tidied most of the wiring up. And then we put the tunnel top in, we're gonna put our new fabric one in that goes over the handbrake and the gear lever and then it'll be roll bar change obviously we've taken the cage off of this car going to go back to a standard roll bar but back end's pretty much buttoned up now and all ready to go um yeah and then we'll be bolting on some uh, i think we're going to go with the cxrs on this same wheel as this going to be bolting those on um with some uh, sticky tires on there as well so looking forward to seeing this one jet onto the ground give it a nice sort of uh, stealthy look Right, hashtag uh, Brian's car here. Been on with this, as you know. Seats all fixed in now. Not permanently fixed, as we put on here, but they've all been dry fitted in there and done. They're all on the runners the same. Nice, easy sliding runner. Uh, make life a bit easier. Done. Side panels fitted on both sides now. Hole cut in for the exhaust manifold, steering rack on, front rockers on. All the front ends pretty much done now. 265 with the calipers on. Got the Wheelwood four pots on the front, 265 cross drill and groove discs on there. Obviously a nice billet hub. These are called Tina Geometry. The wings stay bolts through here on this and it's fully adjustable on the rose joints. So if you uh, want to experiment with your handling, you could, but set them up pretty much standard. Does exactly what it says in the tin. Then the dry sump tank will sit in here. Once we finish that, it'll be the next thing because obviously the wiring has been pretty much buttoned up now. Um, as in installation wise, run all the Wiring loom right front to back, so new loom all the way front, all the way to the rear with all the circuits that we need. 
all nicely labelled up here on the relays. And the fuse box into the fuse panel here, um, which is nice. And again, we've got diagrams for this, but yeah, you've got a little fuse box panel in here that sits in the bulkhead so you can get access to that from under the passenger side. Back end, you saw that last week. So yeah, more progress happening on Brian's one. And while we're on chassis, talking about chassis, which side? That side. Should be up there, guys, where we are in the chassis register and in the queue. And if you want to get yourself in that queue, obviously hook us up with a phone call and email. We'll talk to you about what we uh, in products in our range. Would you like your car on the stand at the Stony Kit Car Show? We're looking for three bike engine cars to join us on the stand, and you could be one of them. If you'd be happy to show off your pride and joy and give people a first-hand account of what it's like to own and build one of these cars, then get in touch with me today because you could be joining us on the stand. Well, while we're standing over this gorgeous K20, if you're looking to get yourself into one of these cars and want it immediately, well, guess what? We've got some cars for sale. We've got two RX-5s for sale, um, a grey one and a white one, standard 1.8 and a VVT car. They're both for sale. We've also got a bike engine cars. We've got an Arian that's just come in, um, also fresh off. That is a track day car only at the moment. Um, whether you could get that a road legal, I don't know. That'll be down to you guys, but that is an option. And also the Shaman, that's popped onto our doorstep as well, which is a CBR 1000 RFR engine, stonker, screamer. They're both, all of those three are for sale. Four actually, four are for sale. Next up, I suppose we better talk about vents. Don't forget about the track days. Anna will fire them up. <laughs> what we've got, Blight and Anglesey, etc., and Landau all rolling up. And the shows that are rolling, man, we're nearly getting now. The sun is shining, and May, I can't wait for a stony show to come and see you guys. You can come and look at the products on our stand, sit in them, touch them, feel them. So don't forget that the May bank holiday. And I'm sure Anna's put that up there for you. That's it for this week, guys. Hope you enjoy what we're doing. Comments below if you'd like to see something different or what Neil's doing with the old exhaust pipes that he was polishing earlier, which was, well, a bit of a bit of an interesting exercise. That's it. Like, share, press that subscribe button. I'll catch you next week. <laughs>